Judging by the title of this video, I'm guessing you guys have a lot of questions. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one that is. And today, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you another funny life story about how a friend of mine broke his water in Costa Rica. Now, obviously, that is going to sound crazy absurd to a lot of you guys, but trust me when I say, guys, that this story is 100% true. So to give you guys an idea of what's going on, it's eighth grade, and I'm actually taking an eighth grade field trip to Costa Rica. And that actually may surprise a lot of you guys. Like, what? You took an eighth grade graduating field trip to Costa Rica? Well, keep in mind, I went to a really small independent private school that had only about 16 kids in the eighth grade class. And it was a pretty expensive private school too. So we had the money to afford to go on these long trips. So we're in Costa Rica and we're staying in cabins. Obviously boys are split off to stay in some cabins and girls are split off to stay in other cabins. I'm pretty sure there's like four boy students to one cabin along with another adult chaperone. And our adult chaperone's name is Bill. So one night before we were gonna go to bed, one of my friends said, hey guys, I'm gonna try to get up early tomorrow morning and make sure that I take a shower before we get started that day. And we were like, all right, man, sounds good. We'll make sure that the shower's available for you tomorrow morning. So we all end up going to bed. I'm laying in my bed. I get a good night's sleep. And around two or three in the morning, I wake up to the sound of water running. So I hear that water running. I look at my clock and it says 2.30. And I'm thinking, wow, when that kid said that he was going to get up early in the morning and take a shower, he wasn't kidding. He really meant early in the morning. But keep in mind too, the kid that said he was going to take a shower early that morning was in the bunk above me and I could hear him wrestle around. So I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, if he's in bed, then who's taking a shower? hour at 2.30 in the morning. And just as soon as I realized this, I reached to put my watch back down on the ground and I felt water. This is right around when I'm starting to come to. Keep in mind, I was pretty dazed and kind of asleep still when I was realizing that the water was running. But as soon as I felt that the floor was wet, I got really concerned. And just as I was realizing the entire floor was wet, one of my friends woke up and realized it as well. He then ran over to our student chaperone and shouted, Bill, our water broke. And as soon as I heard this, I was like, what is this kid talking about? Our water broke? That makes absolutely no sense. And as soon as he screamed this too, he woke up everyone in the cabin and he screamed so loud that people in other cabins adjacent to us heard him as well. So pretty much everyone that's on this trip is now awake and wondering what the heck is going on. So Bill gets up out of his bed, walks into the bathroom and notices that the bottom cabinet of the sink has been blown open and water is spewing everywhere. All of our stuff on the floor is wet. Everything is just soaked. The floorboards are soaked. We had to move all of our stuff up onto the beds so none of our stuff would get damaged. So our teacher that was leading the whole trip was actually staying in another cabin. He had to come over and figure out what was going on. He was the only one who really spoke Spanish fluently too. So what he had to do was actually go find the custodian for the place that we were staying at and try to tell him that the water has bursted underneath the sink in our cabin. So at this point, we're just all told to stay quiet, not really make a lot of noise because some of the other people are still trying to sleep who miraculously have not woken up from my friend screaming that his water broke and just kind of be calm and wait outside on the porch. And one of my other friends who was waiting with me outside on the porch didn't want any bugs to get into our cabin. So he had the genius idea of shutting the cabin door. Now this seems like a pretty good solution in order to prevent bugs from coming in, right? Wrong. Because what he did not realize is that when he shut the door, it got locked. So we're thinking, awesome, we have a Spanish speaking custodian person that's about to come back over here. And not only we're going to have to explain to him that the water is spewing everywhere on the floor, but also that we don't have a key to get back into the cabin. Thank God there's no bugs in there though. So the custodian ends up coming over, our teacher's there too, and he has to explain to him, hey, we need a key to get back into the cabin as well. And you could tell too at this point that the custodian was extremely pissed. I mean, one look at the guy's face and you could tell that he was just like, my God, these stupid idiot kids who just keep ruining my life. It's 2.30 in the morning. Why can't I just get some sleep? So the janitor now has to run all the way back to his little shack, his storage area, and grab keys for the cabin. So anyways, guys, to make a long story short, we did end up fixing the water issue, and we were able to go back to bed around 4 in the morning or so. But I just thought the story was funny enough because my friend screamed that his water broke, and I really hope you guys did find that funny as well. There's a lot of just weird things that happen in this story that you just wouldn't expect to happen. It's just a lot of bad luck when you really think about it. So anyways, guys, really hope you all did enjoy this story. If you guys did, really would appreciate you guys to smack that like button it really does help my channel grow and if you guys are interested in seeing more of my content be sure to subscribe i love bringing you guys life stories like this and i know you guys really do enjoy it because you guys always show really positive feedback on all of my videos so if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to smack that like button and let me know that you want to see even more life story videos and i will see you guys in the next one until next time everybody keep gaming and as always stay cool adios